What's up gamers, Jim here, and welcome to the first look for Darksiders Genesis. Let's begin. Um, it says last played 18th of April, which is today, but I haven't played this game yet. Um, so I can do friends only or invite only. So if I remember correctly, this game had two player multiplayer and I think it does have a split screen if I remember correctly. Um, I'm going to do private so it's offline because I don't want someone to uh, join me mid game while I'm recording. Um, and that's about it. I don't see any difficulty options. I really hope there is none because I love games when they don't have difficulty options. <laughs> That's just my personal preference. So I've never played the Darksiders series, but the other Darksider games are like more like, I don't know, third person arcade. Um, adventure game type of thing, hack and slash maybe, I don't know. Um, but it's completely different. This one is more like dungeon crawling, like Diablo. But I've been told that even though it's like Diablo, it's it's the gameplay itself is actually not like Diablo at all. Um, so I've been told, I don't know what that means. <laughs> I think people were saying that it's more like an adventure game than a traditional dungeon crawler hack and slash game. Do not mourn. Do not doubt. Your actions in Eden were tragic, but necessary. Eden was intended for humanity, not the Nephilim. It was a great victory for the balance, for you. Horseman. Victory. Where Sounds like Gangnam Paradise. <laughs> Gangster Paradise. Your purpose lies elsewhere. Lucifer, Lord of all hells, yet plots humanity's downfall. Weak though they may seem. These fledgling creatures are integral to the balance. We believe the demon Samaya, Lord of Blackstone Keep, conspires with Lucifer. Seek out Samael. Unravel this plot. Serve the balance. Show them the price of defying the Council. Samael's fortress is under attack. The council could have mentioned that. His enemy. Well, not up. I'm just gonna skip. <laughs> oh, I'm on a horse. And uh, the right stick is to aim, so it's like, I guess you just shoot. Um, I'm guessing unlimited ammo. Oh. I thought it was one of those games where you you can't get out of the edge if you tried. And now I've lost my horse. There we are. And then L2 for sprint. Okay, I'm, I'm liking the controls already. It looks like the battle's been going on for a while. Already, I like the atmosphere and the level design in the background. It's really well made. So, this is a summoning summoning stone, and it, you can summon your friends with that, basically. Um, 
I want to see if there's a uh, graphic options, brightness, motion blur. To me, this. Uh, yeah, to me, this feels like um, 30 frames. Like, it, it's like. It feels 30 frames to me. It's still playable. But I'm not seeing the or feeling the smoothness of 60 frames. I could easily be wrong, like, because part of me is just thinking, there's no way this game is limited to 30 frames. That it has to be 60, right? But I don't know. This this looks and feels 30 to me. Oh, my horse died. And there's a 10 second cooldown for my horse. <laughs> hmm. You can actually uh, jump in this game. Something that you don't really see in uh, dungeon crawling games. I wonder if it auto aims if I don't use the right stick. The concept of jumping in a dungeon crawler has never crossed my mind. Like, it, it makes sense, right? Like, why can't I jump on other games like this? Okay, there is no, like, auto-aim. I do have to um, use the right stick. I don't know what that bar is on the bottom, but I guess... It's probably something to do with like combos and like more damage when you do a combo. Ghost hook grab R three. L one lets me see my. Um... Oh, I can switch ammos. Oops. What did I do? Oh. I've 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 transformed into something else. Uh, I think I'm a different hero completely now. So this is more of a melee class. And then this one is range. I wonder if I'm just playing a different hero or is this character just changing outfits? Oh, I wasn't expecting that. That's really good. I'm already liking um, the concept of jumping on a dungeon crawler. Like, it makes so much sense to have it, and I've just never realized it until now. Hold A after a double jump to glide. Wow! <laughs> they, they went all in with the jumping mechanics in this game. What happens if I hit select? Um, where am I? I think I'm around here somewhere. And uh, looks like I just have to keep going north. And then you have different floors. Oh, I'm on floor one, then there's B1. I'm just gonna get my horse back. I wonder. Um, let me let me dismount. What if I go back to the melee guy and then I summon a horse? Do I get a different horse? Oops. Oh, I get a fire horse and a very long range uh, melee. I'm gonna go range. Oh, I can see the other character on the top left corner. We, so if if my um, if if the range hero dies, then I'll be switched to the melee one. 
I guess if I was playing two player co op, um, the second player would be the other character. I'm already liking this game a lot. It's just the gameplay is great, the jumping mechanic is just smart. <laughs> um, I've never, again, I've never um, thought about that. And um, the the quality looks good too. If I remember correctly, um, I think the publishers of this game, um, or the developers, I don't remember, I think it was the publishers of this game, they also made um, a game that came out last year called Remnant from the Ashes, and that's a game that I've been playing on uh, PC, on Steam, and that is a really great game. It's like Dark Souls with guns, and it's got free player online co-op. It's a really good game. What am I supposed to be doing here? I think I'm supposed to... Oh, hold on. Uh, am I supposed to hit that? Earth Splitter. Hold Y to charge up and release wave of energy forward. Passive has a chance of chance on any chaos eater attack and knock an enemy down. Switch between strife and war at any time. Oh, that's something I've figured out on my own. <laughs> Equip ammo uh, enhancements, hold L1. Perform wrath abilities when wrath meter is filled. Alright, some action already. The simple war model. I'm gonna go as the the melee guy now because the range isn't doing that much damage and I'm I'm getting uh, ganged up on. Mysterious objects. Going back to range. Everything is top notch with this game. Like the sound, the graphics, the art style, the gameplay. Like everything is really good. And the creativity of just using jump in general. I learned the finisher button. Ooh. Oh, I nearly fell off. I wonder, um, I wonder, hold on, let me go here. Okay, I'm on, I'm here. It, I wonder if I can actually just jump down. Oh, I can glide. Oh, wow. I can actually do that. That's really good. That is really cool. Now I'm trying to figure out where did I come from. <laughs> did I really come from this way? I don't remember this bridge. Let's just sprint. I wonder if I could have just climbed back up now. <laughs> so, what's this blue thing here? Oh, is it just a tutorial?
ch summoning my horse again. Okay, let's just go back up. Although I didn't... Oh my god. <laughs> I just realized I could have just went left instead of right. Just like that. I'm just seeing if there's a tutorial, because it's got that blue thing there. Whole day off. Okay, it's just, it's pretty much the same thing. Oh. Oh, gotta dodge the bullets, the fireballs while aiming at the same time. <laughs> if you tap a, if you tap the jump button, it looks weird. <laughs> We're bound now as enforcers of the balance. Test or not, we follow orders. Hey, I know what I signed up for. I'm just saying. For now, let's get the horse back. It's quite um a struggle to get the horse up, unless I'm supposed to hold the button instead of tapping it. Okay, tap. Okay, I, I'm supposed to hold it a bit instead of tapping it in order to summon the horse. Just going around meleeing. I don't really care if my horse dies. Because <laughs> it's like 10 second um, cooldown anyways. So where am I going? Okay, let's go this way. I feel like um, I'm doing more damage when I'm on the horse, with the guns at least. Oh, I can even uh, shoot up. As long as I'm aiming there, I can shoot up. I'm just gonna go up here. I just love how much jumping is involved in this game. We fight on another trophy. Yeah. I guess that was just a mini boss or or just a random enemy. Oh, oh, I'm jumping over the fireballs.
Oh, I'm gonna switch heroes because I'm low on health. I wonder if my uh, other character starts healing in the background when I when I don't switch. Fire a strong piercing bullet can be charged up to three levels. Passive attack power is permanently increased for each ammo type. Hold L1, use right stick to select. When assigned R2 or R1 to use. When Hot Streak is active, charge shots fired are instantly fully charged. Oh. Oh. I didn't. I didn't know this guy had range. <laughs> So his enhancement is Earth Splitter. We go back to this character. And oh so you got charge shot and standard short. Okay, so R1 is stand standard short I guess. I mean charge shot. Yeah. And it does actually waste ammo. Okay. Where am I supposed to go? I'm supposed to go left. I think? Yeah. I wonder what ammo looks like in order for me to like regain my ammo. I don't know what a boatsman coin is, but it's, it's probably like some sort of collectible. Um Okay, when you look at the map, the it says the green triangle ones um, are boatman coins. Oh, there is a lot of um, like hidden stuff, and I've passed a few as well. I passed like chests and stuff. Yeah, if you look at the right side, you can see um, what you have left or what how many you have, you've done to unlock. There's actually quite a bit of stuff to unlock. That's really cool. So this is a type of game where you could just replay the same level over and over just to get like a hundred percent. I'm gonna go on my horse. Have to make an impression. How much do you think those big old lava towers cost? I'd like to get some for my bridge. Oh. Why not ask the Lord of Blackstone Keep? It's like a um Where am I? Okay, so what what is that purple thing on top? It is a trickster key. Have I passed another one of those? No, I haven't. If I go down, okay, I can see one up here. Okay, um, let's go really slowly. Oh, oh no, ah, messed up. Looks like I can mess up as many times as one. There's no, it doesn't seem like there's like a life system. 
feel like it's maybe... Oh! Never mind, I messed that up again. Going back down. <laughs> oh, it is actually um, reducing my health. Oh my god, are you serious? Ah, oh, I didn't even... Oh my god, I'm trying to get back up. Oh my god. Yeah, it's, it's reducing my health every time I go down. It's, I shouldn't be struggling at this. It looks really easy. I'm just going to take it slow real Oh. Take it. Oh. Oh my god. Ah. I love that it made me jump on the... Oh. Oh, they had the flying thing there. Okay. Maybe um, I could get back up if I do fall down. I was thinking if I start shooting, right, would it reduce my walking speed so it will be easier to get this? I don't know why, but this actually helps me navigate. Oh, I say that and then that happens. But I got the thing, right? Like I don't have to get it again? Yeah, I got it. Let me just double check that I actually have it. Yeah, I have it. Okay, cool. Let's just go back. Okay, where am I supposed to go? I'm supposed to go down, I think? Really? What about, um... What about here? Okay. For some reason I couldn't use the blue, uh... Items. I'm hearing something on the right side. Oh. Oh my god! Oh my god, are you serious? You can't you can't control it for like a second and it just goes where you're uh, looking at. <laughs> oh, there's an item here. Oh, that's not an item, that's an enemy. But now there's an item here. <laughs> I'm just trying to um Find the oh! I didn't even know this was a thing. I'm trying to find the boatman coin. Looks like I missed it. Oh, there it is. The horse gives you um more field of view. Oh, something was here. What's this? I can't get that, but I think that was like a health kit. Oh! You think it could be Moloch? He doesn't have the muscle, but this smells like it. It would have been Flesh nice bits. if they added more enemies to the to this game, and allow the second player to be a bot, and it and they just follow you and attack. I think that would have been a better game. I don't even want to use my charge shot because I don't like wasting resources. Oh, split screen co op, here you go. It says two controllers to play co op, but I'm sure 
I can use my keyboard. I don't want to try it now because then I don't want to figure out how you exit split screen once you're in. <laughs> but surely, um, hold on. Okay, I can move with WASD. Um, yeah, I was thinking maybe you could make the second player as a keyboard user. Oh my god. Ah. Oh. Still haven't like figured out how the jump the, the gl gliding works or jumping, I guess. There we are. Okay. I think it's because I'm used to like Uncharted and Tomb Raider and Assassin's Creed. You're not supposed to be spamming the jump button otherwise you do a backflip. And I, I usually just spam the jump button on, you know, the other games to make me go up quicker. So don't do that on this game, basically. Let's try the charge shot. Oh, oh my god. Wow. I can feel the power behind it. Got to destroy every box. <laughs> oh. Oh. I can just dash back. I'm not sure if I have like a stamina bar or anything, like that, but I doubt it. Oh, I could pretty much nearly spam the dash button. Charge shot coming right up. But we are many. Oh, I'm getting uh, the melee guy out for this one. Oh, I could dash with the melee guy as well. Oh, the finisher. I'm really liking the music in the background. It's very uh, heart, heart pumping. Let's get the let's get the horse back. Oh, my horse died. Oh, I'm nearly dead. Need some help. Interact with the fork door to proceed. Once you pass through, you can't turn back. So is it taking me to a boss? I think that's a boss, maybe. I don't see it in the legend, though. I do need help. Let me just use a health potion. I think this game is more enjoyable with friends. I'm just trying to imagine what it would be like if, if there was co-op. I do think though they should have added more enemies and then make the second player as, as a bot if you don't have someone to play with. I'm just going to use all my charge shots in this. You know what, I think it does more damage with the R2 with basic firing. 
It's more inconsistent. Oh, oh, I could have jumped over that. There's so much stuff going on. Come on. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have charged there. Oh. Oh my god, I'm gonna switch heroes. Can I actually melee him? I don't think so. I can't even get close to him. Oh, I can melee him. Oh! I have to stay with the melee hero a bit. Because my, other, my range hero um, is low on health. I think the, the melee hero has more health as well. The warrior. I wonder how I'm supposed to heal um, the other, the, the ranged hero. I wonder also if is this leveling, XP system, skill trees, buying equipment, because I've been collecting these blue items, uh, which seems to be like currency, by the looks of it. Let me just see, um, what am I doing here? So I'm going to a trickster key up there. Let me get on my horse. Well, well, this one is just right here. Uh, this one, this one was lazy. There's no like puzzles, or anything. Oh, am I supposed to do something? Or oh, okay, press B basically. A door that pretentious can only lead to our boy Sam I L. Snick, we didn't sneak. Mm. Perhaps I was foolish in not accepting his offer. My lord, the council! Guess you didn't hear us knocking. Ah, horseman. What brings the loyal servants of the council to my door? The council believes you scheme with Lucifer against humanity, against the balance. Do you deny it? Horseman, such base villainy is beneath me. I admit, I am intrigued by your accusation. Unfortunately, I find myself a bit under siege at the moment. By Moloch? How'd you manage to let a bottom feeder like that get the upper hand? No offense. An excellent question. I could venture a guess. I told you this day would come, Samael. I, Moloch, have come to claim your head and your kingdom. Go. Find my associate within the void. We will continue our discussion after I drive my sword through Moloch's skull. Perhaps then we will have an answer to your question.
Oh, looks like I've done level one. I think. Oh, I think. Um, maybe we're in a town or something. Hmm. Here's a summoning star. Can it heal me at least? No. Uh, there's a lot of stuff on the right side. And it says area entrance. Can I go onto that? gemstone thing looking there oh no never mind I could just do that oh this one's gonna be a bit hard oh what can't I just go there oh I think I'm supposed to go this way um I think I'm supposed to be unlocking like a bridge or something. Maybe. Because it's got like these two blue lights. Unless I'm supposed to shoot it. Nope. Hmm. It's got a red thing there. Uh, I don't know. I'm just going to go back to where I was. I feel like there's supposed to be a bridge that takes me there. Or maybe the warrior can't climb? Nope, never mind. can be charged and thrown at multiple targets including enemies wall switches okay um, selecting gear press up to equip the blade use the right stick to throw to, okay oh and then you got the ghost hook oh what if I went as this character Oh, I don't even get the option for this one. Yeah, I don't even get the option for this character. I have to go for the warrior if I want the charge blade thing. I really like this. It actually bounces off the map. <laughs> there was a game um, on the PS3, I think it was called Gave, where you controlled one of these weapons. And, and then you had to use the um, the PlayStation 3 controller, the, the DualShock um, 6 axis to control the, the weapon. Looks like I can spam this. Yeah. I can spam as many as I want. What do you know? There is a bridge. <laughs> This store requires two keys to open. I did get the trickster key, so I guess it was talking about that. Let's see what's in here. It's piqued my interest, considering how much effort you have to do to get in here. Oh, isn't that an enemy? Oh, it's a chest. I thought it was like a spider. <laughs> so it's pretty much like a treasure room. Oh, health stuff. Healthstone shard, a piece of healthstone for strife. Collect free to complete the stone and increase strife's maximum health. P 
peaceful strife, blah 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 blah. How do I know how many I have? Oh, it says on the top, health, health stone 2 out of 3. I think I missed one then, around there. Maybe it's that. No. Should be, what should it look like? Should be, um... It would be nice if I could zoom, but I can't. Oh, it's just supposed to look like a skull. Maybe that, I don't know, that looks almost like a skull. Must be that. I don't see any other icon that looks similar to that. Okay. And then there's um, this. So, getting like 100% on the map or whatever is actually beneficial to upgrade your characters. I really do like games like this. I, this game is just really good. I just have, um, you know, I'll say at the end of the video. Well, usually, um, if you're new to this uh, channel, usually when I do first look videos at the end of the the first look, um, I tend to just give my overall opinion about what the game's like within like one hour of me just playing. Okay, let's see. I don't think it matters which way I go. Oh, it's a, I can hear the time thing. There we are. What does that say? Lock on target. Lock on to targets while aiming. It says I can use it with L2. Oh, L2 to aim lock and then press uh, right click. Is it supposed to do something? Or am I supposed to aim at something else? Lock on to top. Whoop. Lock on to. Oh my god. While, okay, lock on to target while aiming with L2. I can only lock on to that though, unless I'm supposed to charge it. Okay. Oh! I get it. Okay, I get it. Oh, that is. That is really cool. That is really cool. Serpent Hall. I should have known. Your unfortunate must have me. Sweet. Skip, skip, skip. <laughs> Chapter one complete. Hold, uh, select to go to the void. Whoa! Oh, I, was I switched characters. Never mind. I thought um, but I just took a massive hit or something. You know, I'm just gonna drink the potion. I don't know how to heal uh, my other character if I'm not playing it. Uh, where am I supposed to go? What's what's all this? Oh, I, I, got, I got an indicator saying to go left. Hey, Bogram, right? The soul leader? Dig the nickname. Strive. Like me, your reputation precedes you. Mind your tongue. Oh, you were careful. <laughs> oh, show input guide. Display additional buttons in the description labels and hide elements. Yeah, sure, why not? 
Only you can quench my thirst. Oh, I could buy a key from this guy. And I could buy a healthstone shard. Uh, so this is the one for war. This is one. This is the one for strife. Oh, and the the boatman coin is a currency as well. Hence the name of coin. <laughs> and you could buy oh passive health regen. Slowly regain a portion of the inactive character's damage health pool. Yeah, I need this one. This is what I was talking about. I was like, doesn't it? Doesn't it just heal? You know, slowly regain a portion. Yeah. So the character you're not playing can get health regen. That's how it should be. I, hear you I like that. Some fun. Let me switch to the warrior and let's see if um, the ranger's health is increasing. Maybe it's like really slow. Or like for like. Passive Shall health regen, slowly regain a portion. Okay. Just a few more souls. Delicious, delicious souls. The, the NPC is not even on the map. I guess. Um. I guess the light here indicates that I've done level one, and after I do like maybe ten levels or whatever, it's supposed to unlock the final boss. I'm guessing that's what that is for. Either that or it's about unlocking the trickster key doors because it's purple. Maybe my maybe strife's healing increases in combat because it's not increasing right now. I'm li oh, it's just really slow. There's <laughs> nothing else here. If I had to start level 2, how would I do that? I guess I have to go in here. Oh, here we are. Cool. Um, recommended 70. Recommended 120. Okay. Oh, it says how many tricks the keys I have. Uh, how many upgrades you missed. How many boatman coins you missed. Okay, that's... I like that. Oh, the difficulties are normal. I just realized on the top right corner. What other difficulties is there? I just leave it to normal. So, uh, I'm just gonna... S oh, quest. Ready to claim. <laughs> it's like one of those mobile games. Uh, creature cores. It's like a skill tree system. Tap. Okay. Okay. I'll read that later. <laughs> Collection area map. Okay, I mean yeah, okay, I'm just gonna hit the main menu. I think I'm I'm hoping it just auto save. <laughs> Uh, so, Darksiders Genesis, this was the first look video, what do I think about it? Um, I really like it. It, it I just, it, it's the jumping mechanic that hooked me into this game the most, because jumping in a dungeon crawler, I don't know why, I've never even thought of that. It, it's so simple, it's, it, it's, it, it should have been like that for most dungeon crawler games, you know, like, and on top of that, they've added jumping puzzles and stuff just to take advantage of the fact that you can jump. And then you can also just dive down, you know, levels below, like if you're on a bridge or whatever. Um, it just, it, it, it feels like it adds a, an extra dimension to traditional dungeon crawler games. Um, so I think in terms of negative size of this game, I just have two complaints. One of them is it's not really polished enough. Um, it is a it is a fairly polished game, but when I was trying to shoot or when I was trying to get the horse or when I'm trying to double jump and glide, um, I'm messing up 
Um, I'm I'm not like I feel like um, I'm not the one that's messing up. I'm. It's it feels like the game isn't responding to the buttons I'm pressing. So they should they should polish that part and it will be perfect. Um, and then the second thing is, as I mentioned before, I think the second player should have been a bot. I think the second player should have always been in the game as a playable uh, as a bot. And then you could just switch between the two in mid game if you want. And ov obviously just add more enemies to compensate that you have an extra ally. I think that's what they should have done with this game. Um, Aside from those two complaints, this game is really top notch. I think it's best played with a friend. Um, just exploring the map and exploring the secret areas, trying to get 100%. Um, this game's great. It's really good. I have no, I have no complaint aside from those two. Um, really great game. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Hopefully, this game ends up being on Stadia Pro, so everyone else can experience this game uh, for free. That's part of the subscription plan. Um, that's about it. <laughs> so thank you for watching my video. This is Jem and I'll see you on the next one.